traveling. Um, I've traveled from Uzbekistan to um, a swum in the Antarctic Ocean. Um, I have crossed Siberia on a train. Um, and I wandered around and I just came back from India, from West Bengal and up in the Himalayas. I like to find the untrodden paths because I find that the, all the, what would be called the primitive arts, to me, touch my heart in a way that the more sophisticated ones don't. So there's everything here from, some of it is um, museum caliber, the, the Maasai skirt down there, it's very rare, it's very old. They don't make them anymore. They're embroidered. The Maasai men don't wear them anymore, but they did. There's a chair there from Mali, which is where all the problems are now, and the hat on my head I stole off a man in, in a market in Bamako, which is the, the capital of, of Mali. It was a market where it was just jammed. And uh, he was making little um, trucks and di different things with parts of um, Coca-Cola cans and <coughs> Mountain Dew cans. And I said, great hat, thank you, and took it. I <laughs> laughed <laughs> <laughs> and thought it was funny, and I bought some of his things, and we had a fair deal. <laughs> um, and it's those kind of memories that keep me going and make me feel whole. Um, they feed my sense of, of wonder. They feed my sense of discovering new people. And most of them are, the craft people are very gentle people. And they, like all the artists who are sitting here in the room, right here from Gentel, um, we artists are, um, are kind folk, you know, we're after essences of life and um, we're not inclined to carry a hatchet, often. <laughs> <laughs>